In this lesson, we are going to understand what are the different techniques that we have to determine the structure of a crystal. Okay, we have already seen what are the different types of crystal structures that we have. Okay, important types of crystal structures like we have seen the sodium chloride crystal structure, we have seen the diamond crystal structure, right? And we have seen all the basic unit cells which are your Breve lattices, right? Now we are going to see how do we actually scientifically study a structure of a given crystal okay so the first technique that we are going to study is known as Lua's method okay so we are going to understand what is your Lua's method and what do we have in here okay so this is a basic diagram which is representing your Lua's method for analyzing a crystal structure okay so over here you have a x-ray tube so this is emitting your x-rays okay this x-rays are turned into a very fine beam by using lead sheets okay so these are your lead screens in which you have a small pinhole okay due to this small pinhole all the x-rays are absorbed except for the x-rays which are going through these pinhole okay so the x-ray is basically turned into a small fine beam of parallel x-rays right so this set of parallel x-rays they are bombarded on your crystal which is to be analyzed so this is the crystal which we are analyzing to understand what its crystal structure is okay when this x-rays they fall on this crystals they get diffracted and you get a pattern on the screen okay this is your screen on which you get a pattern which is something like this okay this pattern is unique for every crystal okay over here you have large number of bright spots as you can see okay these arrangement of bright spots is unique to a particular crystal and this arrangement of bright spots is known as your Lua's spots okay so you can see the Lua's spots on the screen and on the basis of this Lua's spots you can find out the crystal structure for this crystal since the arrangement of these spots are unique to a particular crystal okay we are actually going to understand what exactly is happening over here and what is causing these bright spots to appear okay so this was your Lua's method just recollect what we learned about family of planes we had seen that in every unit cell we have many number of family of planes okay in a single family of planes all the planes are identical to each other okay they have same set of atomic distributions okay so the atoms are distributed or arranged in a similar fashion in all the planes which are of the same family okay and we have many such families within a crystal okay so you are going to have many such families in your crystal and in each the each of the families your arrangement of atoms would be same for all the planes which are of the same family okay so it's going to be something like this now what happens is your crystal which is composed of many such family of planes when your parallel beam of x-rays they hit this crystal or are incident on this crystal all these planes they act as your diffraction gratings okay so essentially your crystal is a three-dimensional diffraction grating okay let's just analyze one particular family so let's